There were a couple of good ones. Oh yeah, there are. Yeah, Super Mario DS, <laughs> Party, and Cars. Oh, come and on. The, How much did you pay for this tub? Uh, 400. Four, that's yeah. so good. Like, I, I don't normally find this stuff, and I see you find it all the time, and then it's like, <laughs> where's mine? You've got but it. Yeah, here's mine now. You've got it. I'm so. pumped for you, man. Well, I wasn't sure if we were going to be down here today because it is a miserable old Sunday morning, but we've made it to the fleet. There are vendors, there are items for sale, and that is exactly what we're going to be looking for today. We're trying to fill up our eBay store, find these really good items that we can profit on uh, when we go to sell it online. So I'm going to be using the eProfit app in this video today, a bit of a calculator to help me work out whether or not it's a good buy or not. I'll explain a little bit more about that later. Why are you so oh, eager to sell this for $20? Because I need the $15 towards my budget. Oh, he's, Jamie's trying to... And the, the whole point hustle. was... He's trying to hustle. He's trying to, he's trying to flip to, for a car. To move fast in, in the series. What car do you want to buy? Or have you not said that on the series Hello? yet? I don't know. Hey? Hello? <laughs> oh, you buying this? No. no. You're buying this little I'm rig. Too, for those, you can have it for like $2. Oh, hey, that's two bucks close to your car. No, because I didn't buy that with the car money. So. Oh. Everything has oh, so come from the original five dollars. Oh, also, it's it's from Everything the. From the so you're buying a car for five bucks. <laughs> yep. The everyday flipper, go give him a follow. Would you do forty? Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> How much are all the oh, shoes? Two dollars. Uh, five for the bags. Five for the bags. Yeah. What size are they? Uh, they're like thirty-seven. Thirty-seven. Yeah. Okay, I'll do those. <laughs> <laughs> not for me. Yeah, of course. <laughs> um, that was it for the Burks? No others in there? No, that's it. Oh, that's, yeah, the only Burks I've got. I've got um, Sperry's, like, our sexy kids, some Crocs in there for kids. Yeah. Yeah, you know. All right, guys, first buys of the day. We've got a pair of Birkenstocks here, um, which aren't in too bad a condition, but these ones are, are much better. We've got a pair of Doc Martens. Uh, they're a size women's US 9, which is excellent. And the condition, obviously, of these are really good as well. Now, we're using the eProfit app today, and the eProfit app on these, I reckon Doc Martens, we can, I reckon uh, Burke, sorry, we can get for about 60 bucks. And um, when we put that into the eProfit calculator, buying it for $5, it means we're gonna net ourselves a $40 profit after fees and postage is taken out. And that's what the eProfit app does. It's eBay specific, and it pulls out all of those fees and charges to let you know that it's gonna be about a $38 profit if we can get 60 bucks for those. I did the same calculation using the calculator on the app uh, for these as well. Now, I think based on my past sales, I can get $125. Um, buying them for 40, that means that we're going to make $60 in profit after fees and postage is taken out. So these two pairs of shoes, we're going to make about $100 in profit after all, all expenses are taken out, which I think is a fantastic start. This is really cool, but I don't, I don't know exactly what I think I can get for it because they're asking $50, 50 bucks. It's pretty sick. Oh, geez, you're stacked. Yeah, I've got, got a lot. Wow. So, I just got them three for five. They're only cheap one. Yeah. Um, I got these for... Futurama, does that do all right? Yeah. Pretty sure it does. Yeah. Uh, last one was about 70 bucks. Um, them two for five bucks. Wow. Um, the rest of this for the console, three controllers. Um, hey, this one's, a, this one's a cracker. Yeah. This one's really good. Someone asked me for that at the other day. They're like, oh, it's a cheap game. I'm like, no. No, it's, it's not. not. We party, that's yeah. a huge so game. that was 120 for that box. Yep. And, and you got Soul Silver. Yeah. And it's got complete with... Yeah, it's complete. Doesn't have the the, um, the walker. Oh, it's an Australian edition too. Yeah. Reese said it's about 220. Yeah, Soul Silver's massive, man. Yeah. Holy. And um, was this all obviously bought for one person, right? This was, yeah. Wow. Um, and then there's, yeah, there's three DSs in there. The... the Bad you got an Xbox. Xbox. Oh, that doesn't work. Oh, I don't know. Oh, you don't works. know. Yeah. Right. Um, and a bunch of NRDS uh, games. Yeah. There were a couple of good ones. Oh yeah, there are. Uh, Super Mario DS, <laughs> Party, and Cars. Oh come oh, on. And the, and the How much did you pay for this tub? Uh, four hundred. Four. That's yeah. so good. So it might seem um, expensive to some, but I don't think so. Uh, like, I, I don't normally find this stuff, and I see you find it all the time, and then it's like, <laughs> where's mine? You've got yeah, it. Here's, here's mine now. You've got it. I'm so. pumped for you, man. The second edition of these do very, very well. Just 
Did you wear that, Jamie? No. I reckon you could rock that. No, I, I stick with the hat for about a year and I'll switch it up. You go a whole year? Jeez, I, don't, I, I don't cheat on my hats like you. Mate, I'm daily. Yeah, I know. Yeah, the two is red. Oof. Jamie, that's a hat you would wear. It is. Jeez, that's nice. I actually just bought another Malware. I bought a shirt, so... But, yeah, 50 would be the last, otherwise it's a first Yeah, I hear. Yeah. I know. It's a damn good hat. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I reckon, I reckon you could probably go 100. Yeah. Clean. Clean too. Right, I've just done a bit of a bit of a fly through all of these DVDs, and I'm liking the look of this because it's the complete collection. We've got Bramwell. Uh, we've also got the Chief collection. I think it's worth about $25 to $30. Um, but again, collection, so complete. Um, and then we've got Pack to the Rafters, which I think, I think that is complete. Uh, series one to six. Oh, I've got three, mate. Got those ones there. Um, about 25 for you. Let's do it. Okay. Yeah, I'll do that hat for four. Thank you. All right, now with the eProfit app that we've been speaking a little bit about today, they've actually got a new paid feature um, and there's a seven day free trial that I've got a link for you guys in the description below. I've been playing around with it and I've been a big user of the eProfit app for the last three years. Um, so I know that it does really well when you get the free version use of the calculator. Um, but what I've been really impressed by is the new features that they've got, which is basically a paid subscription service of 25 a month and you get to access all of your eBay information imported into the eProfit app and you've actually got holistic view of your entire profit for the entire year and you can add in all of your individual expenses as well which I think is a really cool feature too. Um, so you can get just like the calculator a true net profit of your entire eBay business and I know so many of us out there really struggle to work out how much money we're actually making on our sales and this, this app eProfit absolutely does that for you. So um, free um, seven day free trial, link in the description, a really cool feature that I've just released see what you think of it um, and let me know how you go. It's something I think I'm going to be working with for quite a while. A um, couple more DVDs that we bought. We've got Bramwell, the complete collection. We've got The Chief, the complete collection. And we've got Pack to the Rafters 1 to 6. Now there were so many DVDs over there, but I just decided to go ahead with the complete collection sets. Um, this one, Pack to the Rafters, is always around about $60, so that was good. I'm paying about $15 for that, um, which isn't too bad. There's about $20 to $25 in profit on that one. Uh, we've got the Chief Collection, we should be able to get about $35 for that one. And then this Bramwell, we should be able to get about $25. Um, that's only netting us about an $8 profit after fees and post. And that one there is only netting us about $16 after fees and post. So it's really interesting to see when you put it into the calculator, something like this, where it's like, you know, 5 into 25, you're actually only making $8. I think as a beginner, that's really important information to understand. So, you know, 25 bucks spent on these DVDs, but they should convert into about 100 to 120 bucks. So, we saw Dave's collection earlier in the video, and Jamie's just told me that he's got a massive stash as well by coming in nice and early for his booth. How much are you doing in sales today? How much are we doing, Mum? Uh, 250. 250 in sales? Well, that, that's good in itself. That much. All right. so, it's all this. Okay, that was my breakfast. And then we've got... Jeez, you've got a tub full of stuff yeah. as well. Chromecast. Chromecast? If you check my next video that'll be out, I've got a better one than that, but that one's pretty good. What's it worth? At least 30, but it's the newer one, so I didn't even look it up. I just bought it. Five yeah. bucks. Okay. Got some clothes for myself. Falling Skies. Yeah, that's a good show. It's good one to five. Yep. 50 bucks or something on that. Yep. Oh, some Dragon Ball Z. Pokemon, that's good. New Mew Mew Power. Power. Volume one and two. Wow. That one, one comp for 50. Buso Rankin. That's all right. Okay. I gave you one of them the other week. Yes, I uh, sold it. Yep, I think you got 70 bucks. Yeah. Yep. Did you see that? Yeah. Yeah. Don't worry, mate. Come on up. So we got that. Probably about 40. It's a yeah, bit smaller about 40. Version. Bit of a smaller one. Yep. Got a nice healthy stack of video games. About 20 a piece. That one's surprising. About 30. Okay, wipe out. And, and then uh, Red Dead 2 is just super good. Red Great Dead game. Connection. Always... Oh, I have value. sold a couple of them too, yeah. yeah. Surprising, little Blu-ray, about 30 bucks. On this single yeah. Blu-ray? The mission. The best part is the seller even told me that it was worth money. Still sold it to me for five bucks. Huh. It's funny how they do that. These are interesting. What do you got there? Bear bricks. These oh. two in particular, I reckon I'll get about 60 for the pair. You're kidding. The Tom and Jerry felt ones. Tom and if Jerry. If you look them up, 
one, um, you look them up with the big ones, eight hundred dollars. You're Obviously, kidding. Obviously, these aren't the big ones. These are one hundred percent. The other ones are four times bigger. That's silly, but isn't it? The set went for that much, so I assume at least I could even get up to a hundred. This one in particular, this little green one, forty dollars just for the one. What? Three comps for forty. Actually sold. Yep. This is a Grateful Dead one. Um, a sold with the big one was four hundred, so probably like four, thirty or forty. Thirty or forty one. on that. Didn't look this one up, but it's the NBA teams. Oh, that'd be alright. Cool. I figured it's alright. Based on all the rest. This one's interesting. I didn't look it up, but I did notice it is by a specific artist. Okay. So it's kind of cool. And Goodness me. As well as a. Did you know this when you saw it? I didn't see it. I just bought the box. Oh, you just bought the box and then you yeah. did some research. And then there was a bunch of other toys and stuff in there. We sold them at the booth. Probably made about eighty bucks. I paid oh. one twenty for everything. What are these? So ends up paying these. First Try of all, little um, newer era sort of. Uh, uh, what's it called? Terminator. Terminator. That's Thirty. This one's about forty. What's that? What it was? Age of Just Heroes. A little, um, anime figure. Yeah. Wow. Um, these two ones. They look cool. Really cool. What, you, what we want to look for here is the Bandai. Yep. I actually picked up that really nice Transformer set last time, which was the Tomy. So Bandai and Tomy are the two really good Japanese brands we're looking for. Yep. In particular, this extra sort of advertising here shows that it's more of a premium figure. Obviously okay. I can't read that because it's not English. But you but just know it because it's on there. It gives you that sort of idea, right? So we've got this one. Um, What's here. he worth? Um, comps. Are going anywhere between 100 to 300. 100 so to 300. I'm expecting more like 150 to be to be completely honest. And this and one this about 150 one, as well. Um, I didn't check, but I well, don't it's know the same. The, it's that it's C. It's the same figure. It's just. And what was that one? Um, That's D. D. So you got D and C. I assume they have different names. And you're gonna go 150 a piece. Somewhere around that. So Obviously 300. A bit better comp research first. What'd you pay for everything? Um, for everything, so we paid 120. Jesus. For that, and then we paid about 30 bucks for the games. And five dollars for the chrome car. So oh, we're in for one fifty-five plus that's five. So we're in one sixty, right? Spent one sixty. Eighty bucks worth of stuff that I bought here today. Yeah. So I paid eighty bucks for everything here, and I'll probably make that off two or three of the bare bricks. <laughs> so oh man! You can tell why I wasn't too upset about missing that game fine because I found some goodies myself. You know, there's there's enough to share, isn't there? There's enough to share. You go early, and you get big tubs full of stuff like this. That's two cars of tubs that I've seen today. That you that I missed out on. Oh no. <laughs> well guys, I have learned a very, very important lesson today. And that is don't sleep in on flea market Sundays because you are gonna miss out on some incredibly good items. Uh, well done to the boys though. They got up, they put in the work and they, they got some really good returns out of those items. They'll go on to do really well for them. Um, if you missed this video right here, this was a day where I did go early and this is where I struck up a great deal. So go and check that one out. And uh, thanks for being here for this one.